Hey everybody, Janami Gadir. Good evening, greetings from Altoona, Iowa. The temperature here is 33 degrees. The local time is 612. As you can see, it's just rain mixed with freezing rain. Mostly rain. All right, I, I said earlier I was gonna set myself to do a 10 hour break at this Flying J. But it turns out that I got more hours to burn than I previously anticipated. So right now we got 39 minutes uh, available hours to drive. So we're going to utilize most of that. If I remember correctly, there's a love truck stop about 27 miles from here, east. So we're going to try to get there and do our 10 hour break over there uh, the, the night is still young I particularly don't like that truck stop back there uh, I don't know uh, the on ramp going east is probably still closed that's one of the reasons but mostly I just I don't know today I feel like driving just Man, I wish I had enough hours to make it to Wisconsin. I'd drive just the whole way. But that would be illegal. Okay, a couple of questions, uh, mainly from Daniel Lack. Daniel asked, how long can I possibly drive before I have to take a mandatory 30 minute break? All right, here's a scenario for you, Daniel. Let's just say early in the morning, I just finished my 10 hour break, right? So I've got the 11 hours and the 14 hour available to me. Now normally, normally I just show 10 minute of a pre-trip that's on duty, not driving. Okay, hold on, let me get this four-wheeler to pass us here. So, okay, from sleeper berth, I go down to line four, which is on duty, not driving. As soon as I touch that line four, guess what? That eight hour clock is now spinning. Uh, the, yeah, the eight hour before you gotta take a 30 minute break clock is already running. Your 14 hour rule is running. Now, when I show a 10 minute uh, pre-trip, then I, from line four to line three, which is line three by the way, is on duty driving. So again, if I show 10 minute uh, on duty not driving and then I started driving now how many hours this is kind of a question for you how many hours can I possibly drive before I gotta take that 30 minute break think about it even though I can legally drive eight hours That's right. I can only now drive seven hours and 49 minutes. Well, to be technical, seven hours and 50 minutes. Because as soon as I started the 14 hour rule, even though I showed 10 minutes on the line four, it's not, it's still good. It counts against your I don't know how else to explain it, but just think of it that I can only now drive seven hours and 50 minutes. So basically it's 49 because, you know, it's an electronic clock. Now let's just say, let's just say I take, uh, let's just say I finish my 10 hour break. Now I've got the 14 and 11 hour rule available to me. 
I, I show a 10 minute pre-trip now I showed a 30 minute break after my 10 minute break uh, 10 minute pre-trip now I, I showed a 30 minute break so let me ask you this how long can I drive a full before I had to mandatorily take the 30 minute break time's up I can drive a whole seven hours and 59 minutes all well, eight hours yes so now I can legally drive the whole eight hours and yes even though I only even though I drove the whole eight hours I'm only required to show a 30 minute break now that doesn't mean I can only do a 30 minute break I can do as long as I want to but mandatorily I am only required 30 minutes There's not too many people out here, including myself, that drive the whole seven hours and 50 minutes, I tell you that. It's, I usually do, uh, I usually drive about five and a half hours. Then I take a 30 minute break and then drive another five and a half hours. Then take my 10 hour break. Well usually the second half is not going to be a full five hours and 30 minutes because you also you always want to look for you know I mean you always want to look for a truck stop as close as you can to your your 11th hour you don't you got to pull over before your 11 hours ends. Usually there's a truck stop, you know, 10 miles before your 11 hour uh, driving rule reaches, or sometimes it's right on the money. Sometimes it's, you run out of claw your 11 hour driving rule and there's a truck stop right there. I've actually managed to go into an on-ramp, <laughs> drove myself to the on-ramp, or oh, off-ramp, as soon as I hit the stop sign, I only had a few seconds before my 11-hour driving rule uh, clock ended. Alright, what else can I say? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I had something else going and it was Johnny B. Good brain struck again. Oh, uh, dog, damn it. Yeah, that's all I got there, uh, Daniel. By the way, um, the only the only way that I'm going to be taking the northern routes, if uh, <laughs> if Jose Manuel will ever go with me again, or I don't know, maybe Toby want to go with me. That way he can help me chain up. Uh,
as I said, that's all I got. So we'll catch you guys later. Um, we're we're just now 17 miles away to the Love Truck Stop, which is exit 16B, and that is located in Newton, Iowa. Iowa Speedway Drive. If I remember correctly, they also have 4G network there. And I think that uh, Love's Truck Stop is brand new. Maybe I'm thinking of another Love's Truck. Another Love's Truck Stop. I don't know get my wires crossed here all right we'll see you in a little bit thank you for watching once again happy thanksgiving everyone peace